Hey everyone, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name's David. It's great to meet you. And today we're going to be doing a fall decorate with me. And I'm so, so excited to be doing this because I'm so ready for fall. It's finally here. By the time you see this video, it will be here because fall is in a couple days. Not really. It's like next week, but I'm going to like get everything ready, get the video out so you guys can have some inspiration. To hopefully get your house around. I'm sure a lot of your homes are probably decorated by now. Regardless, let's just get into the video, okay? I need to start taking things down. I have a lot of neutral item decor pieces that I always gravitate towards, and so it kind of already looks like my stuff could be decorated for fall time. If you just, like, look at the stuff, the colors and everything. I mean, it could pass for fall. I do want to add in some pumpkins, you know, things like that. Some maroon colors, plums, just like super pretty stuff. So let's go and check out the things that I have. I laid everything out on my counter so we could check it out. We're about to get into this, you guys. Look at all the fall things. I have quite the collection. I started gathering lots of things for this fall season in past shopping haul videos as well as upcoming ones. So stay tuned for those. So let's get into it. So if you are already following me and you saw my thrift flip video, I did three fall thrift flips and that was a couple videos back. I will link that in the description box below in case you missed it. It was part of a challenge. Well, anyways, I found this pumpkin at the thrift store, basically painted this. I really, really like it. So I think that I'm going to be using it in my fall decor this year. This candle here from Target smells amazing. They're only $7. If you guys love pumpkin spice, I'm a pumpkin spice freak. Look at this over here. I got this from Marshall's last year and there's still some in it. So I'm going to be spraying some things. I think I'm going to spray like the fake leaves. So when I walk by, they just smell amazing. And I'll probably spray the pine cones. I had another video out where I showed you I got these for 25 cents. They were cheaper than this price, but I had to pick them up. I was like, what a score. And I got these from the same store. So anyways, I'm not gonna go in every little piece, but just know, like, again, I accumulated this over time. I didn't just go out like yesterday and buy all of it. I just posted a video about the florals that I got from Michaels. I love them. I got these ones from Hobby Lobby. I made this vase, did like um kind of a dupe dupe video. Absolutely love that vase. So I think I'm going to use it for fall because of, you know, the dark colors and I love it paired with this. I kind of just started putting things together a little bit so that it was kind of prepared and kind of organized for the video. The first thing I wanted to tackle was this chair over here. It could stay, but I really wanted to put a rocking chair over here. I just feel like it gives a really warm, cozy vibe. And I actually found this antique rocking chair off Facebook Marketplace for only $20. And then I found this blanket here from the thrift store. It is a Studio McGee blanket. I only paid $13 for it, which I thought was a steal. So I just went ahead and styled it across the arm of the rocking chair. And then I had this pillow that I wanted to add as well. Next, I wanted to swap out this picture frame. It does look kind of fall. I will say that, but I wanted something a little bit more moodier in my living room. So I just went ahead and grabbed this frame that I actually picked up from the flea market. It was only $10, but the backing of it didn't match up with the previous one. So I just took some tape and a Sharpie so I could mark where I'm going to put the new holes in the wall. And then I put it up there and used a leveler just to make sure it was nice and level. Tapped in two nails, took off the tape, and then voila, I have my new picture hung and ready for fall. Then I went ahead and swapped out these summer florals for something a little bit more moodier. I'm loving these plum colors this year. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know the colors that you're decorating with for this fall season. The next thing I wanted to do was work on the textiles on the couch. I swapped out this pillow for this warmer one that I found at Target. Luckily, the day I went, they were on sale, so I only paid $16 for this pillow. <laughs> Thank you. 
I decided to swap out another pillow on this couch and I found this pillow at Burlington. I absolutely love the tassels. Though I could stop here, I wanted to add one more pillow and I found this one at Target. It's so, so beautiful. It gives that vintage vibe. It also ties in the florals on the left because of the maroonish plum color. And of course, I couldn't forget about my crocheted pumpkin pillow. If you guys haven't checked out that tutorial, I'll leave that link down below. The next area I wanted to focus on was right here when you walk into the door this is the first thing you see on the side table as well as this little stool right here and this other table that's behind this couch. Sometimes when you're doing a fall decorating you just kind of have to play around with stuff and see what works and doesn't work. The best thing to do might be to start with a clean slate remove everything off the surface, and then you have a fresh palette. But sometimes you don't want to remove everything, and you just want to add something simple like a pumpkin. The next little area we're going to look at is this little stool. I absolutely love this stool. I got it from Aldi for about $14. I had this vase that was sitting in my room and I bought these florals from Michaels. I popped it in and it instantly gave me that same look that I've seen from Target. I've seen everybody use the same exact vase and I don't have to buy it now because I pretty much have it right here. DIY version. The area right over there, I've actually already decorated the top half of it, so I'm going to just take you over there so you can see it a little bit better. This is done, and you guys probably saw this on my Instagram if you do follow me over there. I got the florals from Amazon. I will link them down below. I will let you know they're not my favorite florals. They just look a bit cheap. You get a little bit closer there, you can see. But from far away, they actually look really nice. And I love them paired with this vase that I got from Target. I got these candlestick holders from a vintage shop. And then I got these candles from Michaels on clearance. And then the frame, you know that I found that in the trash at the flea market. Well, I love this stuff paired together. I think it looks very nice. Now the bottom half of this little shelf, by the way, that shelf was thrifted and I did a makeover on it. You know how I roll on my channel. I do like this pot and I like the brass little vase there. Maybe the cement ball, but I'm, I need to change out the florals and maybe the pot in the back. I'm just not sure what to do down here quite yet. So I'm going to mess around with this area to see what I like best. As far as this goes over here, this actually is not even supposed to be here. Well, I made it on my channel a minute back because I really wanted to make this kind of a primitive desk looking thing and I wanted it in my bedroom. However, I don't have room currently in my bedroom until I do like a makeover in there and kind of move things around and figure out what's gonna go. Currently, it's just kind of behind my couch, which leaves very little room to walk in and out right here, which is super annoying. I figured since it's another surface, I might as well go ahead and just decorate it for fall. So I'm trying to just gonna do a, a few simple little things on this, not too overwhelming. I'm not sure if I'm gonna move this easel or what's gonna go there, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of work in these areas right now and don't mind the mess because you guys know this is all the fall stuff even down here I have some things that are I pulled out for fall like this brown frame I thought was really really nice and then I have like these blankets and stuff on the side over here I like the color for maybe fall and I have all these pumpkins that I can use I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these. As fall starts to come, I probably will pull more and more out. 
Right now I'm just kind of doing just a light version of fall with like the leaves, switching out some vases and things like that, adding maybe a few pumpkins. Let's see what I do over here. So I have this bowl that I thrifted for a couple dollars and I think it looks really primitive and kind of fall. And I just threw some of these black stones that I got on clearance inside of the bowl. I think that's gonna go here in the middle. Again, I'm just playing around with stuff to see what works and what doesn't work. I got this little cute piece from Target. I wanted to pop this in here somewhere. But I will say, in the end, I did change some things around. So the final results are a little bit different from what you guys are seeing right now. So I'm not really sure about that. I'm just kind of experiment and see how this will work. I got these pine cones and I'm like, maybe I could just like dump them in around it. I got these little pumpkins from Dollar Tree, so I'm like, maybe I could just pop them in there. I'm gonna put some candles in this, and I found these ones at Hobby Lobby, $4.69. Okay, so I finally got them to stay inside of the thing. I had to like melt a lot of the wax into the thing and you can see it looks kind of bad. But I do love the drips that kind of occurred while doing this. I might keep it right here. I don't know because my cats, you know, they might knock it over. So we might end up moving this over there somewhere. So I ended up just switching out the vase that was down there and I put this white one here. I have it right here because it's blocking the cords and things like the outlet that's right behind it you can kind of see it right in between these two vases I added a glass jar that I got from Hobby Lobby this might end up getting switched around but for now I'm gonna go with it I have kind of a balance of colors going on over there just kind of leave it like that so there's this little area super cute I kind of want to just fill that spot in right there. So I put this terracotta vase that I got from Home Goods. You guys saw me get it a while back. It was only like $40 and it's such a large vase. Now that I have that part done, I wanted to focus on the other couch. I first removed the blanket off the ottoman that's sitting right here and I moved this stuff around. I was going to originally put the blanket here in the middle but I did change that around as well. I love this brown one on the brown. I kind of like that one. I sort of like this blanket. So I left that for the time being, and then I took the green blanket that I got from Target at the dollar spot, and I popped it right here. I got these from Amazon as well. I really don't like the quality, to be honest. I would not buy these. I'm gonna use them. I like the leaves, but I don't like that they're these are green. And then this is brown. I think it's weird. I could go in and paint every little thing, but from a distance, you don't really notice it. So I'm not really sure if I want to take pillows away, but I'm going to add. I always say the more pillows, the better. I just think it's so cozy. I just want to jump into them. And then over in the corner, I have some books and things if you ever wanted to read. Books over here, nice cozy blanket. Just threw on some more pillows, even though it really is a lot, but I love my pillows, you guys. I think it's just beautiful to see all of them, all of them together like this. And I really like switching out the blanket. I think this kind of adds a little bit more texture to this, and it will keep my cats from scratching this part up.
Now I'm gonna move on over to this section right here. I was thinking about leaving it how it is because it already has like a fall vibe with the rust colors in this floral that I dried. And then I love this vase. And this could even go for fall because it's like a yellowy color. I think it just goes really well. Um, I'm gonna try switching out the lamp just to see if I like it or not. So I picked this lamp up from the thrift store. I got it for $7. I love the green glass. The lampshade I took from another lamp I had already. I immediately did not like this. I think that the lamp sits way too tall. Even with switching out the shade, it still looked weird to me. So I went back to the other one I had. But I'm glad I tried because I would have never known if I hadn't. Just simply removing this really opened up the space. The next thing I wanted to address was the under part of the table here. I just wanted to give it a more clean look, so I removed most of what was under there, and I just put the checkerboard back because I thought it kind of went more with the fall vibe with the colors, and then this rusted antique piece I found on top of the checkerboard game. And for the top of the table, I already had these pieces in, but I will show you exactly what I did. I actually got these pieces from Hobby Lobby, and they were on sale, 50% off. They have all their florals on sale right now, just so you know, in case you haven't been already. I think I've been to Hobby Lobby like five different times. Looking at fall floral, I'm not even joking. <laughs> but anyways, I bought some, returned some. I've been just trying things and see what works in my home. I encourage you to do the same. The return policy is 90 days, so. But as you can see, these colors really bounce off that pumpkin pillow, and I'm loving it. I also wanted to point out I did not switch out the vase. You can keep the same vase. As long as it's neutral, it'll go with fall, Christmas, whatever. It just depends on what type of floral you put in it. I wanted to also mention I used this type of vase because it's short and round and resembles a pumpkin. So over in this area, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do first with this small vase, but I did want to swap out the florals. I got these ones from Dollar Tree. I just popped them in and I thought it instantly looked more fall. This little box here, it holds my remotes, so I do think I need to keep it up here. I want to remove this large vase and put something new over here in this corner. So I've got this book. I got it from Tuesday morning. It's a fake book. And I popped on this cute arrangement that I put together. Next, I wanted to address the DVD player and the VHS player. So first I had to start clearing some of the stuff off so I could kind of get like a fresh start. And what in the world, you guys? I never noticed this, but there's a sticker on my TV. It's been there like 10 years. Okay, that's going. Bye. Anyways, all about the looks, right? Aesthetic. I had to pull this drawer out and empty it out. And basically what I want to end up doing here is put my DVD player and VHS player inside the drawer so you don't see it. It's still functional and everything. It's just it, hidden away. So I drilled a hole and then I put it inside that middle drawer. And now I have a lot more room where I can decorate. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. They were $2.50. I'm just gonna unwrap them and then stick them in those candle holders that I thrifted. So the shelving over here, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, a lot of the stuff that I do have is neutral and it already looks like it's decorated for fall, even though I didn't intentionally do that. But I am going to leave this right here because I love the florals with it. I think it looks good. A lot of the stuff on here, 
I kind of want it to stay. I mean, it already has that fall vibe, but I do want to swap out a few of the items and add in some warm tones, move things around. The shelf over here looks kind of crowded, so I do want to start taking things away. I just didn't know what to take away at first. Again, if you're struggling with decorating like this, just take everything off and start with a clean slate. Or you can do what I'm doing and just move things around until it feels right. I'm not sure if I'm liking it or not. I kind of wanted to like balance out the top because it has a lot of heaviness right here with books. So I, I also want to figure out like where I'm going to put this frame. I want to change the picture out to something different. I want to find like an old portrait or something. Eventually, I'll figure out a spot for my new things, probably take some old things off. But for now, I'm just gonna do what I think feels best. And in the end, I end up changing a lot around anyway. Like, you don't see that here, but I'm just showing you how I play around with stuff. I'm putting three different pieces of glass together just to see if I like that. And then this was that moody blue that I really, really like. So I feel like that needs to be popped in on the shelf somewhere. Here are some more things that I found. I got these all from the antique store, relatively cheap. I paid $2.50 for each of these, $5 total. And they're just these beautiful glass black candle holders. They are not matching, but I think that they're neat, that they're different. Like you can see this, you can see this ridge. Look at this green glass ashtray. You guys know I collect ashtrays, especially vintage ones. I think this is so cool like the square and it's green. I found these yellow glass candle holders. Those are fun as well. And then I got this jug here. This jug was only $8 and I love the colors in it. I think that looks really, really good, especially for fall time. I found this cute little picture. The artist is right there. They had three different ones of these, but I only picked up the one. It was $3 for each one. So yeah, I love the little brass detail on the top and I figured I might put this in my kitchen. Switch some things out and put it in my kitchen and then Look at these alabaster tiki bookends. I think they're so, so, so pretty. They're so cool. So I'm, maybe I'll use these in my styling for fall. I'm not sure yet. Definitely think I'll use this because how cute is this? It's amber glass, little pitcher. I'm thinking by putting some, some cuttings in here. Just put this uh, somewhere in the kitchen. Oh, I also found this piece. I think this was like $5. It's like this stone pitcher. Then I decided to take a break from decorating and just pop over to Dollar General. I was looking for the cinnamon stick brooms, but they did not have any. So I just kind of browsed their aisles and look at all these cool finds, especially this black vase. This would look so, so good for fall and Halloween time. Like I said, I was just browsing the aisles, you know, I'm in there, I might as well. Look at this cute turkey. I think this would be perfect for like the harvest if you're gonna decorate that way. And I love these. A champagne coated eating utensil is so nice, especially for fall. You could decorate with so many things from Dollar General. I'm pointing out a lot of things that I think could be fall, even though it's like an everyday item. And I did not forget to check the Halloween section. They have these matte black little milk jugs. I thought they were so cute. And then from Dollar General, I popped in over to one of my favorite stores, 2430 Surplus, or otherwise known as Bargain Lane. They have this lamp that is sold in Target. I do know that. It's a $90 lamp. I looked on their website and they only had it for $35 at this store. I just couldn't believe the savings. I just scored a whole bunch of new deals. I got this wreath that is from Hearth and Hand it for only $15. What a steal. I think it's normal. Look at the normal price. 
Like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at the marble I got, the marble bookends for $12.50. Like, are you kidding? They were normally $25. Now let's get back home and I'm gonna put this wreath up. I decided just to switch out the old one and put this one on and I love it against my white door. Now, time for the reveal.
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got lots of inspiration to decorate for this fall season. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, share it with your friends. It really does help to support my channel. Again, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!